what is up everybody welcome back to the channel i know it's been a long time okay <clears throat> we've been real busy traveling working working on the bike okay but we are at the final stage of the s1k man and i am beyond happy with where how it turned out so as y'all can see we're no longer tan we went full carbon shout out to b stem carbon for working with me on this build wouldn't be able to do it without them so huge huge shout out to them so i know you guys saw last that i was going to go to a track day um and we went to the track day up in jennings and it was good it was fun i had a lot of time to uh really learn but halfway through the uh track day um, we ran into a little issue um the ignition coils that i have they shit out on me well at least two of them did so the bike wasn't running well so the the video of track day didn't come out um how i wanted it to so that's why we didn't post and then I just got really busy with work, so I haven't been able to post. I do have some video from Texas that I probably will throw in this video. But for the most part, one sec. Back to what I was saying. So I do have some footage from Texas. Um, went out there to see one of my buddies that moved out there recently. Um, we brought the bikes out there, so maybe I'll throw some footage in there. Super, super fun. The boys out there are insane, man. Uh, I can't wait to go back and ride with them again. So maybe I'll put that at the end of this video. Um, but overall, the bike's running perfectly now. Um, as you guys can see, like I said, we did all full carbon. Everything from B-Stem carbon. Um, we did get some new tires, so we went with some super courses because I do have a track day coming up at the end of this month. So I will get some videos for you guys for that. Yeah, and then we went 200 rear, man. This 200 rear is insane, bro. Insane. Absolutely love this uh, these tires. Super sticky, makes the bike look so aggressive with that 200 rear. I don't think anything else has really changed. The bike is super dirty right now. I need to wash it. The only other thing that we did change was we got some Gecko headlights. Super bright. Absolutely recommend if you guys have an S1000. Um, I will put in the description below all the parts of where I got all the parts. The links to all of them. Um, but mostly B-Stem Carbon. The only thing that I got um, from RPM Carbon was the tank. She's still running solid, man. But the full carbon is insane, man. It, it really makes the bike light. The one other mod that I did was um, Brentune has an IAT relocator. So up in here, there's a, it's relocated to the front instead of being on the block. So the bike runs a lot cooler. And then I did the velocity stacks as well. Um, but other than that, everything else is the exact same. Haven't changed anything um, since you guys last saw it. Just mainly just like cosmetic plastic stuff. But the full carbon, man. Woo! Does it look good? You guys let me know down below in the comments what you guys think of the new build. Of how it is completely finished. And uh, let you guys see, see the new bike. I know I haven't posted in a while so I wanted to come and update you guys. Let's get a let's get a cold start here going. Ooh. Man, I miss this. I miss this sound. It makes me love my bike all over again. Like I, I did love the tan. Don't get me wrong. It was you know unique, but dude, this full carbon. I mean, look at the emblem. Look at the emblem shining right there, dude. Oh. oh, this full carbon is crazy though. Absolutely love it. But huge, huge shout out to B-Stem Carbon. I'll make sure to put their link down below. We're gonna go go to Ace Hardware, pick up some uh, some locking nuts for this uh, Pitbull uh, trailer restraint. 
Look at that bug, dude. Ooh, so dirty. I need to wash it so bad. Maybe we'll do that today. But uh, yeah, we'll get we'll get back in the video when uh, when I'm riding. Man, I can't tell you how much 10 millimeters makes a difference. <laughs> like size matters. <laughs> uh, just the the weight the weight distribution of the the rear tire now feels so much different than a 190. Um, it could also be the the style of tire that I am running now. The super courses are a little bit more slick, um, but a little more grippier. Um, the sidewalls are a little bit stiffer of a compound than we had of the uh, Michelins. I mean, I feel like I put these uh, these wheels that I've had these rota boxes through enough stress and I think we need a little bit more stiffer of a tire to uh, really push them to the limits but overall man the bike has been running great we're almost at 30k miles man it's crazy and the bike still runs like a dream knock on wood I mean I haven't ran into any major issues so let's keep it that way but I'm super excited for track Sir, I will take it. As you guys can see that the headlights, man. Oof. Yo, the gecko headlights are crazy. Alright, let's go see what we can find. Alright. So these are the um, Pitbull OEM bolts that came with it. So we'll be drilling through the truck bed of my truck. So we need some lock nuts to hold her down. 3A16 standard. Just make sure. Three sixteen. All right. Standard, standard, standard. Nuts, 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 nuts. Oh, I gotta pass it. Left handed nuts. What the fuck is that? Mm. Nylon insert locking nuts, yes. Three eight sixteenths. That is not nylon. Same size. This one's a little crusty. Let me swap that out. There we go. Eight. 
good. I think the washers we have are pretty good. What is that? 70 cents. Damn, 70 cents. That's crazy. <clears throat> Alright, cool. Let's go pay. So, just so y'all can see the headlights. So, we got the three. I know there's a bug on there. But we got the three, and then we got the uh, angel eye on the right. Super bright. I absolutely love these these headlights. At night, I can't wait to do a uh, video at the night. You guys see how bright it is. I think we're gonna take a little stroll through downtown. Mm -hmm. these tires man they're so sticky once they warm up I can't wait to get some tire warmers on it and uh, really push them to the limits at the track but I can't tell you how long I've been searching for some pit bull uh, trailer restraints they're so expensive brand new and uh, I found this guy on Facebook market he's trying to move and gave me both sets for 375 man all I had to do was just get some uh, some BMW uh, stand like um, pins for the back wheel, um, which was it wasn't bad. It was like 120 bucks. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was super excited about about these today we're just going to measure up the bolts uh for the truck bed so we can mount the brackets thank god i have an aluminum truck bed and it's not going to be an arm and a leg to push these uh to push the drill through it and that we're just going to be cruising home and start working on the truck i don't think you guys really care to watch me lay and measure and do all that stuff so um at the end of this video, I'll post some, some footage from Texas. Hope you guys are enjoying that. And we'll catch you guys in the next video, all right? Appreciate everyone, you know, hanging out and still being a part of this community. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy, all right? Peace out, everybody. Have a good one. Ride safe out there. Ha 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 ha!